Welcome to Hinkley Point C, where we're building Britain's first nuclear power station in more than 30 years. Night and day, it'll power six million homes and will be crucial in helping us achieve net zero and stronger energy security. Right now, we're busy working towards a really big milestone in the project's construction. Let's go and find out more. Welcome to the heart of the first reactor building. The teams are getting ready to lift the 245 tonne steel dome on top of the building. It will be a spectacular sight and a significant milestone for the project. Below me we have installed the support ring which will hold the reactor in place. The reactor arrived on site early this year and will be installed next year. You can see we pour the concrete around a big prefabricated pool which will be home to the reactor for its operational life. Next we'll fit the huge equipment hatch which will be installed on this opening behind me. It will open and close allowing equipment to be moved into the reactor building during construction and operation. In the coming months we'll put the polar crane on the brackets which are being prepared above me. It's a huge rotating crane that will sit under the dome. It's under construction here on site and will be lifted in in one giant piece. All these elements have to be completed before we can lift the dome which is just over there. Good morning. We're here at the dome where we're making the final preparations before the dome will be lifted into place later this year. Let's go and take a look. Wow, look around. We're now under the dome itself. We've spent a lot of time working on the steel structure, carrying out the manufacturing, welding, coating, and services installation and testing. And in just a few months, it'll be lifted on top of Unit 1 by Big Carl, the world's largest land-based crane. There's a real sense of anticipation and excitement, and we've been building for this moment since the project began. Once the dome is lifted, the first reactor building will be weatherproof, so our mechanical and electrical teams can really get to work on installing the pipes, the equipment, and the cables. We'll also start introducing the big nuclear components, like our steam generators, which have finished initial testing at Framatone in France. Now, all these components need to be controlled from one central point. And that central point is our main control room and it will be installed right here on this concrete slab. We're busily finishing the walls that will sit around the main control room but it won't be long before it'll look just like this. Our trainee reactor operators are already using the simulator which is an exact replica of what the control room will eventually look like. The actual control room is on the other side of the site and will be lifted to where I'm standing before Christmas and then fitted out. It will control the reactor building and also the power generation in the turbine hall. Unit 1's turbine hall is really taking shape. Right here, we'll install the world's largest steam turbine, the Arabelle, made by our colleagues at General Electric. The turbine will generate electricity using steam generated from the heat in the reactors. These huge white structures above my head are the roof trusses taking the hall to its full 50 meter height. We're now gearing up to install the 300 ton crane. It's under construction in Avonmouth and will be used to install and maintain the equipment in the turbine hall. So that's above ground, now let's go underground. I'm now on my way out to the end of the tunnel which will return water to the Bristol Channel, more than a mile out to sea. It's big enough to take a train and is one of three tunnels which will circulate our cooling water. I'm right at the end of the outfall tunnel where 23 metres above us, two huge jacket vessels are drilling down through the seabed. This summer they installed six giant steel casings to form shafts. We'll join it with the tunnels down here and we'll dig out to make the connection. It's some of the most complex work in our entire project. Back here on shore, the pump house is progressing really well. Civil works are now two thirds complete and the mechanical and electrical works are underway. Now let's go and check out one of my favorite views of the site. From here, you have a great view of unit two, our second reactor. After slowing down during the pandemic, work is progressing well here, particularly on the concrete inner and outer containment structures on the reactor building and it means we'll be ready to install the second steel inner ring later this year. Construction of the whole of Unit 2 and its systems is really benefiting from the lessons learned over at Unit 1. Many tasks 
are achieved in 20 to 30% less time than on Unit 1. That replication principle underpins our plans to build an identical power station at Sizewell in Suffolk. And that's it for our latest tour. I am so proud of the people working here on site and the thousands of people working on this project right across the world. Next time you're here, the dome will be on Unit 1 and the site will have transformed again. More of our mechanical and electrical work will be underway and we'll be installing and testing more equipment so that it's ready when the power station becomes operational. See you then. Thank you.